Singularity is one of these low budget science fiction movies that has a couple of hurdles to overcome to try and win you over. First one is the story itself. It is a little bit more than familiar. It is about a artificial intelligence that comes online and destroys the world trying to wipe out humanity. Found, sounds a little bit familiar so far. It gets more familiar as we go along. So we jump 97 years into the future where the AI is still trying to eradicate humans from the planet and he's come up with a plan. It has created a robot to infiltrate the resistance to kill the last of humanity's saviours. Yeah, it feels a lot like the Terminator plot and it's just not as well done. But if you can kind of take a back step from that, the movie's not too bad. It was shot for $100,000. It was made about four years ago and it seems to have been repurposed since then. John Cusack was brought in a later part to be Van Dorn, the man behind um, the AI who is still kind of there in the form of the AI in the present day. And he's constantly watching the situation, monitoring what's going on and trying to eradicate the humans. Now, I didn't know this when I watched it, and it never felt odd at all because it felt within the whole storyline of the movie, it felt fitting, and I didn't really mind it. Then we have the special effects, which I thought were actually not too bad. I knew this was a low-budget movie, but they felt as if there was some weight behind them. Now, there was only a few scenes where the se uh, special effects are actually there because most of the time it's spent with the two main characters trekking about woods looking for signs of Aurora, which is the same magical place where the humans ran away to, away from the machines. You have the lead robot, um, Andrew Davis, who doesn't know he's a robot, who thinks he's a human trying to do the best for himself. Then you have Kayla, the girl he meets up with, somebody who's been barely surviving, and together these two are trying to find Aurora, the place where the humans are hiding out. Or that's what a sort of legend says. Across the way they meet some other humans who may not be as friendly, but it's more about these two people becoming attached. Now, the acting is genuinely fine, but there are some moments where it's a little bit underwhelming. The script lets it down ever so slightly now and again, but I had genuinely a good time with Singularity. I had a lot of fun with it. It was a movie that kept me entertained. One of the biggest hurdles that I had was after I finished the movie, I thought, I'm going to go online, see what other people are saying about this, to see if you know, it's been seen, or to see if it's been out in another country. And I found a slew of people giving this half star and one star reviews, and I felt myself going, did we watch the same movie? Was it as bad as that? And I don't think it was. Sure, the plot seems similar to Terminator, but it takes it down a different pathway, even though it's using certain elements. The characters were a little bit more interesting um, than I expect them to be. You get the John Cusack moment, frequently throughout the movie, which when you think about it, sure does feel tacked on afterwards, but it fits within the context of the movie and it was something I rather enjoyed, that element of it. I'm sure the movie's been repurposed in a way, shape or form, but you can't tell that it's been manipulated or changed from the source material. It's something that I enjoyed and when we got to the end of the movie, it feels a little bit like a pilot for a TV show and if it was, I would definitely be watching the next episode or two because I had me hooked. I was interested as to where the story was going to go now, even though it does feel as if it's jumping from Terminator into Battlestar Galactica at the end of it. Still, I can recommend Singularity. It's worth checking out if you like science fiction movies. It may tickle that little sort of bone that says, you know what, this is a bit too much like Terminator for your own liking, but for a one-time watch, for a fun-time watch, it is pretty decent. Singularity is out in DVD on the 7th of May, and I think it's worth checking out. So let me know in the comment box below what you thought of Singularity, which will probably be the opposite of my view. And I'll see you next time on Man vs Film.